patterns, the style. It's not just material, it's not just looking pretty. An outsider would call it African print or wax print. But if you're an insider, it's just clothes. Take hot wax, apply it to the fabric. So the dye will only pick those areas. <laughs> it's a knowledge passed on from one generation to the other. Women had significant power because they sold wax print. How many girls have you trained? Very, very many. I can't remember. We have more than 350,000 design color combinations. This design, the name from the market is The Ungrateful Husband. You wear it and then you are telling your husband that he's been ungrateful to you. <laughs> missionaries were selling these prints to African women. Missionaries sent their information to Ebenezer Brown Fleming, a Scottish merchant, sitting behind his desk in Glasgow, who then commissioned cloth in the Netherlands. The local industries are suffering. The Chinese are free to run roughshod over everybody. They are looking at their profits and that's it. They copy our designs and they put our labels on it, 100% counterfeit. So here we go. Text a code to confirm that it's a genuine pattern. The product may be fake, do not use. It is one group of people being able to make a load of money from other people's labor and ideas. Identity is so important. Africans were growing cotton, using natural dyes, and trading amongst themselves before the European came. It's ours, we yeah. need to understand it and claim it. It's not about being from Jamaica or being from Africa, it's about being black.